it's interior designer Mikkel Welch and welcome to my mega mansion in Queens. Okay, so right now we're standing in what we're gonna call my foyer. I mean, it's a one bedroom apartment, so all the rooms kind of like intertwine. But this is kind of like the entryway when I first walk into the space. I wanted a place where when I come in, I can kind of put my bags down and just sit down. So this is a beautiful bench that I had created. I'm always like running in and out of the city. So this is the perfect place to kind of gather my thoughts and also, because the place is so tiny, when I need to, I can kind of transition it into the living room when I have additional guests over. This is the star of the show. I mean, there's kind of a, let's say a big moment behind me. I mean, take a look at these barn doors. So when I initially moved into the place, this apartment just, it didn't have any oomph to it. So I wanted to create a focal point and I thought the best way to do that was to bring a little bit of the outdoors inside. And you know, I love the Hamptons and I love like going upstate to New York. And so I said, you know what? Why don't you make your place feel like an old barn? So I had to create my own version of that. And I did it by creating these barn doors. And guess what? It cost me less than $300. As a matter of fact, I think I need to put a trademark on these so I can start selling them. Now, I know my dining room is really tiny, like literally I can sit on my sofa and probably touch the dining table, but this is one of my favorite areas in the house. I wanted something that had some rustic character and patina to it, so believe it or not, I went online to Craigslist and I was able to negotiate this table for $200. And I just love all of the little notches inside of the wood and it just gives it so much character. So every designer has one area in their home that is constantly evolving. As a matter of fact, if you look on my Instagram account, this wall looks completely different every time uh, you look at it. Well, this is my little play area. You know, I love this beautiful console table that has this like hammered effect to it. And it gives it like a nice little aged patina. One of my favorite little tricks that I love to do is to take vintage books from the thrift store and I like to remove the covers. And what happens is you have to get, uh, and it's gotta be a dusty book. It's gotta be a really, really old book. And when you rip off the covers, this is the beautiful patina that you get on those pieces. And if you look online, a lot of retailers will sell those books for like $80, but you can go right to your local thrift store and you can knock that out for $4. But as you can see, like this is kind of like where all of the movement happens. But it's just little fun trinkets that I just love to kind of display here. And again, change it out seasonally. So this is like the favorite of the favorite pieces. I just love all of the little grommets that are nailed into this piece. You can tell that it's like weather, it's aged, it's old. Guess how much I paid for it? Well, actually you can't interact with me because this is video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. I paid $200 for this piece. It probably cost a fortune, but I was able to negotiate. You gotta love Craigslist. All right, so another piece that I am just kind of in love with, I have been coveting this piece for several years and I was able to find one, believe it or not, on eBay. This is a coconut fiber raincoat. So the coconut fiber raincoat is one of those things that, you know, you see in several design magazines. They command attention. Like she can just like hold the wall on her own. Honestly, she didn't need any other help, but I just kind of sat her here on this beautiful little knob that I found here. And she just, she's the star of this wall right here. All right, so now let's kind of walk over to the west wing of the apartment, <laughs> also known as my bedroom. So as you can see, I went for theatrics in this space. Um, it's a smaller space, so I needed more impact. And so what I decided to do was to create a DIY version um, of this canopy bed. And what I love about it, especially like in these uh, winter and fall months, it's kind of cozy where I can just like take the drapery and just wrap it completely around the bed. And I kind of feel like Marie Antoinette. I just need a piece of cake and I'm good. I have the his and hers lamps. Um, I don't have anyone next to me in the bed, so it's kind of like a Mikhail and Mikhail lamp, but it works. And over here, I needed to find a little nook and area where I could display some of my favorite vintage objects that I've collected along the way from home goods. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I found most of these items, you know, locally and I've mixed them in with some vintage items. So you can kind of see like I've outfitted the bookcase. I've got like an old 
vintage books like we talked about before that I got from the thrift store. And then I've just kind of like woven in some of these pieces here just to kind of make it feel more eclectic and homey. Okay, so another fun thing that I love about my bedroom is my light fixture. I was able to take a mirror, spray paint it, and I made my own version of a Spugnik flush mount chandelier. How cool is that? Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of my mega mansion. Until next time, take care.